Hi everyone, my name is Mark Robinson and I'm here to tell you about Social Tools Now, which is a brand new social media management dashboard that we've developed to help prepare advocates use social media to grow their, their businesses. Um, we, we carry out plenty of research uh, going back over the last two or three years. Uh, we've realised that in the direct sales industry in general, there's probably only three, four percent of people at most that really know how to use social media effectively to grow their business. Um, having found that out, we set about building a dashboard which was intended to make social media easy for everyone to use in, in, their, in their social media strategy. Um, so what we're going to do today is show you two or three of the features, good features of the platform, uh, and then invite you to come on board, sign up for a uh, sign up for an account and start a three day free, 28 day free trial where you can see just how valuable the platform is to you. So the first, the first feature I want to show you um, is what we call suggested messages. This is where um, you use the, the dashboard to access hundreds of thousands of posts that are already in the dashboard system. So first of all, you choose the accounts that you've connected to the dashboard that you want to post to. Then you choose the different categories of products that you'd like to post about. And then you click, I understand, show me the messages. And the system goes away uh, and it's going to throw up a selection of messages. That's one message per day, per account for the next seven days that you can use. So just going down the, the list here, you can see you've got first message that you like, and it's called to an incredible relationship. The next one, happy Thursday, sorry, but I'm saving my Wi-Fi for Friday. We can edit that, we like it. So what we're going to do is we've already created. And as well as editing the date and time, you can edit the message itself to make it more personal. So you just click that little bit of a message in here, so it will be a happy Thursday, everyone. You can go with the more effort you put into releasing a bit of personalizing the message, the better it's going to be for you. So um, we'll just put a little quick, quick, quick hashtag in there. It will confirm, so that's edited the message. The third one you can edit the messages is to click on uh, edit social account. So you can see these are the five accounts we've connected into the dashboard, and we've selected another couple that that message is now going to go out to. So if you move down the list, you can see more of the messages that the system has produced. Uh, once again, that it's producing a couple, just a couple of clicks. It's producing one message per account per day for the next seven days. And as you go down there, if you see some you don't like, you can click I don't like it, swap it, and that will swap you. you know, there you have it within, you know, within literally within a minute, two minutes maximum. We've scheduled, I think, 14 posts that are going to go out every, every day for the next seven days. So that, that's, a, that's the first and most popular way to use the dashboard. And we've, we've designed that for people who really don't, um, don't understand what to post, maybe. Maybe you're not too familiar with social media, you've not used it in the past. But if you, if you set up an account on social tools now, if you start to go straight to suggested messages, the system is going to do all the hard work for you. Um, and you know, it's important to recognize that there are hundreds of thousands of posts that we've already created in the system. So you're not going to be posting the same as any of the other advocates that are using the tool. Your posts are going to be, they're going to look fresh, they're going to be individually, if you put a little bit of effort into individualizing them. And you're going to get a great response from your audience because you're going to be posting regularly. The next, the next section that I want to show you, the next feature I want to show you, is what we call visual composure. Now this, this, is, um, this is a step up from using suggested messages, and this is where you really start to take control of your own messages. What we've got in the visual composure system are literally half a million images, some of them related to their share, some of them real life, some of them just stock images that we've, that we've got um, no copyright issues with. And we've also loaded it up with lots of different templates. So you can um, you can create from a template where you're giving you some ideas, or you can take an image from scratch, which might include some of your own images, some of your own photographs that you've taken. So we're going to we're going to show you here um, a blend template and how to how to create it. So first of all, we're going to identify um, an image that we'd like to sit in the background of the template. And this this could be anything. It could be a picture of you, your family. Um, or one of the stock images that we have. So we're just, we're just selecting here kind of a tropical looking template. So we're going to click on one of these. Um, let's say we like this, so yes, we're going to use this image. We just click in use image down the bottom. And you can see now that image, image is in the back behind the main area of the template that we're creating. 
you now click on the main area of the template so you can change all the things all the words in there. So you know, we're now creating a game called Tropical Paradise. Um, we're now going to put in there the, the effects of this blend. So I think it's just the wine it says to unwind the light. Uh, we're going to take them back to take them back to relaxation. And then we can go through just filling out how many drops um, of each of the different oils that go into the blend and which of the oils that go into it. So you can see very quickly that we're, we're creating something from a template which is a starter. So that, as that's going on behind me, uh, just to explain that we don't just have templates for the oil blends, we have templates for invites, we have templ uh, templates for um, recognition, we have templates for any, anything and information you can think of that's related to your business. We're creating templates for them there. You can see we're thinking we can obviously we go through the process of putting the three different oils that go into this blend. Um, and once we've, once we've created the basics, we can then start dropping other things that we call sugars into the image. Now, in, in this situation, you know, we've got sugars which are the cutouts of the individual oil bottles for each of those oils. So, um, we could be dropping those into the thing, we could be dropping emojis in, or any, any number of, I think it's 50,000 sugars that are sitting in the system. So when you're ready to use it, you click use image, and you'll see the image is just down, it's just down the bottom, the bottom right here. And now you decide where you're going to paste it. So I've got all of my, all of the different social media accounts that I've connected into the dashboard. So I've selected one, I could have selected more than one. Um, I just type a little bit of a message into, into the text box. And click post, and it's done. So within within literally within two or three minutes, you can have created your own images. And it's I say it's not limited to uh, it's not limited to templates. What we're what we're aiming to do is upload your own images from your phone. Once you've got your own image there, you can start to build something which is really engaging. So you know maybe it's a family portrait, and you're pulling different uh, pulling different sugars in. You're pulling different bits and pieces in to to, you know, to make it engaging, to make it funny, to make it um, to motivational to your audience. So that's that's the second that's the second major feature of the dashboard, and as I say, we call that visual component. And the third that I'm going to show you is the scheduling tool. So if we just click on the scheduler, the scheduler are where your posts go. So this is a scheduling tool. So you're able to schedule schedule posts far out into the future. So what we're what we're looking at doing here is uh, we're just going down the list of posts that we've already lined up to go out. You can see all of them have got an image with them. Some of them will have a, a, a video attached to it. But you can't, it's not just only looking into the future, you can also look back at what you've posted in the past. So if you look at past messages, you can see the messages, uh, once the internet catches up, you can see the messages that, that have been sent historically. So as we scroll down here, um, you can go across, and on the right hand side there, there's a button which says show stats. So if we click on that, and this is a test account, so you won't see any statistics for it, but you can see that this one has an out on Pinterest, and it went out on Facebook. You can see the number of clicks, the number of likes, the number of shares, the number of retweets. So very quickly, you can identify which of your posts have been successful and which of them are not. So obviously, you know, when you come up with something which is, which is successful, you want to keep using it, and you want to stop using, using those that don't. So if you find one that's getting a really good response from your audience, you click favorite on the right-hand side. That saves that post into an image where all your favorites are. Um, and you, over time, you build up a whole library of posts that you know are going to get a good response from your audience. Um, and you just retweet them, and then maybe you start to use those on a regular basis, or you use them as a reference point, um, and you keep creating variations on the things that work for you. So that's that is a quick that's a quick insight into the suggested messages, where you know the system does all of the work for you. So if you're not confident on social media, but you really want to use it as part of your growth strategy. Um, go straight to suggested messages. Um, once you've connected a few accounts, you just select select the account you want each post to go to. You select the packages that you want um, to be posting about, and just push the button. And those messages are all there for you to either to either like, head check, or keep swapping out until you find something that you do like. And once you get confident with that, then you move on to the visual component, and that's where you really want to get to because you're going to get the best response from your audience when you're producing your own images with your own unique style and that's you know you know what your audience is going to be looking for. So start with suggested messages and get yourself onto the visual component and as you know historically we've seen that um, using this tool is enabling people that have never used social media before to start to grow their business. They're, they're seeing more customers and they're seeing increased orders. To get started on social tools now, if you 
you go to the website, which is socialtoolsnow.social, um, that takes you to a website. There's a little introductory video there so you can see a little bit more about what I've just told you. Um, top right hand corner, there's a button that says start Sozio day trial. If you click that, all you need to have handy uh, name, telephone number, and your Zotera um, ID. Once you put those things in, you're up and running. No credit card details required. You can get started. Um, see if you like the platform. 